Okay, g'day guys, look I'm uh, just going to quickly show you how to adjust eave overhangs using plus spec. Okay, so I've got a roof here, I've created a face on top, I'm simply going to select the roof, I'm going to go up to my, whoops, mistake there, go up to my roof tool and I'm going to create my roof from face. Okay, submit. Okay, there's several different ways of, of changing overhangs uh, and more will come with this in the near future. I can go and say, okay, if we had a gable here we can change the overhang here, so let's have a look. Okay, I'm going back to my roof tool and I go, okay, we have an eave overhang or gable overhang here. We can change that to 600, go submit, and we can now change that overhang distance there. But I, judging from the forum question that I'm looking at, they're actually asking about how to change the overhang here. Okay, so there's several things I need to do. Say for instance, I wanted to just have a shorter overhang from here to here to here say. Okay, so I'm going to say, okay, I want my eave to stop here. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to triple click on the component and keep clicking until I get to where I want to go. Okay, I then need to decide where I want my eave to be shorter. So I can simply do two things. I can push away my box eave if I want to uh, and push it to wherever or I can simply say, you know what, I actually want to leave half of this box eave in and I want to go from here and I want to make the eave shorter by this distance. It's up to you to figure out what distance you want to do. It is not as straightforward as you would like. I am going to push through until I get to my line here and I'm also going to push through until I get to my line here. I also need to break into my eave component, okay? So I need to go through to here and I need to push through or move. I'm actually going to use move this particular one here and go down and I'm going to select that to there. All right? I can do the same at the top. Here. Oops. I actually left my original line selected there and probably an easy way for me to do this would have been for me to select the face here. I'm inside of a component and I'm going to move so I'm going to use the M as a shortcut or move. Go down to here and push shift while I'm on my axes. Oops. Shift. I'm moving the whole lot. Select the two edges, guys. Sorry. Okay, there. Move. All right, and you can see now I'm reducing the size of my eave. I'm now going to push Shift until I get to my line. Okay, I've now reduced my eave length. I need to do the same with my gutter, and I can also do the same with my roof. Triple click on the gutter. Easiest way to do this is to go from the top down, and I selected the edges of my gutter. If I had been smart, I probably would have remembered the distance that I moved it on the last one. I can simply type in that distance. So it is actually 4787. You can see down the, in the VCB down the bottom there. It's actually 4823. Right, so now I've moved that. I've also got my fascia to move. Uh, what was it? 4783 or something, wasn't it? Alright, move that down to there. And I can also move the top to wherever it is, or I can delete that line if I want to. Right, and now I've got my roof to move. So now you can see that everything's starting to move along as I expected. Right, now I'm going to go in here. I can't remember what that measurement was again. Here, simply traced over. Go to here. And now I can just go and delete this section. The, your quantities are going to update as well. Okay, go down and do the same thing down here. It would have been probably a lot easier if I showed you another method, and that method would have been to go in here and say, right, simply uh, delete this line here and move this line up to here. There's, there's several ways to do it. I am using just standard SketchUp methods. I can then go under here and, and, and decrease the size of this if I choose, push it up to here. And if I wanted to I can also go and grab my gutter and put it there. That's that's one way to do it. We are coming up with a solution that makes this easier for you guys. Um, but yeah, in short that is how you will reduce an EVE overhang. Um, Alright, I hope that helps out. Cheers.